So on the morning of Wednesday the 19th, I was doing my regular routine. Questioning my life choices. Questioning if my life is even worth anything. Questioning if I've already reached my peak. Questioning where I all went wrong. But then, Mattel revealed the Hammond Collection. And after it got revealed, I freaked out for like three hours. And to be honest, it's been nine hours since they were revealed, and I'm still kind of freaking out. I mean, look at these things! These look so good! The Baryonyx looks amazing. I... I can't describe how much I love it. I adore nearly every single thing about it. Literally, my only complaint with this Baryonyx is the tail. It's a bit short, and I don't like the width of it compared to the rest of the body, but it does have to plug into the body like most Mattel figures, so they do have restrictions. And the Parasaurol Office, oh my tank! This looks like a Stan Winston maquette made available with articulation on the market. And also, it's not stuck on four legs! You can change it! It can stand on both four legs and two legs. It doesn't look like it's shitting itself with fear anymore. To be completely honest, I think I might just drop the main line after seeing these. Because the main line, uh, isn't as good as it used to be. Because this explains why the main line isn't really at its best anymore. Because the best designers who worked on the main line are now probably working on the Hammond collection. Along with the fact that they're clearly putting a lot of budget on the main line toys into the pop-up gimmick for the app that nobody uses. But the Hammond collection is what you get when you put all of the budget towards the paint. Also, there's six more yet to be revealed. It's official. I'm going to go broke this year. With the Hammond collection and the Lego sets, I'm going to go broke. <coughs> but you lot can prevent that if you like and subscribe. Please? My only main complaint with the Hammond collection so far is the distribution. In the US, the Hammond collection is exclusive to Target which is really disappointing. Stuff like this deserves to be shared in every store. We then have the larger problem of global distribution because nothing has been announced yet, which is really disappointing because I live in the UK and we didn't get the Amber Collection until 2020. It would especially be a huge disservice to the Baryonyx, considering that the Baryonyx is the British dinosaur, which is also the main reason why it went extinct, because as everybody knows, the Baryonyx was hunted to extinction because it was the mighty steed of the Queen, because as everybody knows, the Queen is two billion years old. All terrible jokes aside, I cannot wait for this, and I just hope Mattel already has plans for distribution and they just haven't announced them yet. And I am extremely happy with what's coming out. What do you think I am, a Star Wars fan? <laughs>